All right, I want to make this video. So it helped me out a few years ago. Uh, this is the stock small block Chevy. It's just a Ranchero carburetor. I'll take the wrench off so you can see it. If you have this style of filter, that is your fuel filter right there. I'm going to show you how to remove it. I typically just use a crescent wrench. You will have to get a pretty big crescent wrench because that needs to go right on there. Crescent wrench will go there. Um, the box and wrench will go right here. And then you'll use this right here. And then you'll put this one right here. They're typically pretty tight. Break it loose. I already broke it loose. That's why you got my sound effects. And then what you do is you got to take this out all the way. And this runs to your fuel pump. And on these trucks, they are a mechanical fuel pump that runs off your cam shaft. And these are your fuel inlets and outlets. This is why it goes to your carburetor. It's a quick digest of that. You'll have to bend this out of the way a little bit in a second, but then you take this. Be careful of these inlets. You can make a 20 minute job turn into a two hour job real quick. At this point, you can also put a socket, a socket on there and get it off with a socket if you're having some issues that's no problem at all and this is going to look a little bit weird i've been dumping oil this is a motor i got off facebook marketplace so there might be oil in this normally it's going to be gas and by the way when you crack that loose a little bit of gas might come out i'd recommend doing this on a cold motor maybe let it sit overnight so Crescent wrench don't want to sit there. No big deal. Okay. So once this is out, then there's just this little filter right here. And what you'll do is you'll switch this out. This one actually looks pretty good for being a, a Facebook marketplace find. And then there's this inlet right there. And the way that this filter works is it's got that little hole there. This is the side that you'll screw onto this. And then this sits in there so all the filtered gas goes into the carburetor it's a pretty simple system it's not too common when you order a fuel filter for a modern car they're typically in a big box you walk into an o'reilly's you might get a little bit confused when they hand you this little guy just a little tip hope you guys have a great rest of your day and good luck with it go out there and get it done